from across Northern California, this is Good Day. Well, as businesses begin uh, to reopen, it's important to be proactive by keeping your, your space safe. Yeah, let's check back in with Tina and see if we can get those uh, tech tools to consider. All Hi, right, T. it works now. We got Greg Hanna, a cybersecurity expert from Boston. How you doing, Greg? Fantastic. Good, good. Now, you have a bunch of things that people are using uh, for the protocols because a lot of businesses are opening, right? You know, you got to be proactive and advocate for your own safety by being aware of these tools and using them. Okay. Now, the first tech tool to stay safe in a COVID world, it's a household item. You probably already have one. If you don't, you can get it online for about 80 bucks. It's a handheld infrared thermometer, and it allows you to take other people's temperatures yourself. I've got mine right here. Before I go into a meeting, I zap, take my temperature, 98.6, show it to my client. Client, can I take your temperature? Great, zap, 98.5. <laughs> Now we can both sit down, have a fantastic meeting, and not worry about a bad temperature. You know, when we're done, I run down to the Uber, knock on the window. I'm like, hey, man, check out my temperature, 98.6. Can I take yours? Fantastic. Great. 98.7. I can jump in the back seat and not have to worry. All right. As, you know, besides that, there are things you need to look for when you're out there in the world, like thermal imaging cameras and systems. Now, these can be walk-through frames like this metal detector or they can actually be cameras such as in airports or other public wide open spaces. And what they do is they take your temperature, whether you walk through the frame or if you're in a large group. You see, temperature is one of the key determinants of risk when we're dealing with COVID-19. Okay. And the third tech tool to stay safe in this COVID world, you know, you'll see these in businesses, hospitals, and in hotels. They are ultraviolet disinfecting robots and they're used to sanitize rooms. So if you're in a oh, building, wow and our business and you see a robot rolling around with like long fluorescent looking tubes or standing still with long fluorescent looking tubes, that's a great indication that the business or building you're in is sterilizing your environment for you. Okay. And the fourth tech tool to stay safe in this COVID world, you know, it's one of my favorites. It is a social distancing monitor that looks just like one of these old fashioned pagers. Now, when you get to your business, you and everybody will get one of these, you'll put it on and an alarm will sound if you get too close to somebody else, and it'll ensure that nobody gets too close to anybody else and that everybody maintains safe social distancing. And finally, the fifth tech tool to stay safe in this COVID world, it is my favorite, been yeah. using it for a long time. It's called phone soap. Phone and soap? In 10 minutes, it completely <laughs> disinfects your phone. You simply take your phone, you drop it in, and in 10 minutes, you pull out a safe, virus-free phone. Let's see it again. Our hands are picking up grime and viruses. Right, right. All day long, and where are they ending up? On your phone. Where do you get the That's phone why soap? I sterilize my phone every night when I get home. I just drop it in the box, close the lid. Where do you get the Where do you get the phone soap thing? You get that at phonesoap.com. It's 200 bucks. Oh, wow. Okay, very good. Yeah. Greg, thank you so much for sharing some of those products with us. Appreciate that. Staying safe, COVID-19 I want to help everyone use technology to stay safe. There you go. Thank you so much. We'll be right back on Good Day.